Hello Panthers, today I want to introduce you to something that's very important, which will be purchasing your Connect access code so you can be able to access much of the work that's inside Connect, be able to do the Learn Smarts as well as some homeworks and if there's testing. In addition to that, your e-textbook is available through the Connect website that you'll go to and that's included there. If you would like to be able to purchase the textbook and actual text, you can get it through the McGraw-Hill link here for an additional $15 charge. Otherwise, if you purchase it with the access code, it automatically comes with it, and it's through the e-text, so you'd be able to view it on the website here. In order to be able to log in through Blackboard, you have to go to Connect through Blackboard. Do not go to Connect separately and try and log in and be able to do your work there. You have to technically go directly through Chapter 1, Learn Smart. So once you click on the chapter that you're going into, what I'd like you to do now is scroll down to the first thing that you see that says LS. Right here you'll see LS, which stands for Learn Smart. The two black papers here are also part of the Connect work. And lastly, if your course has a test, it would be available there. And what I'm going to do in this mode is be able to take you through how to actually register, sign up, and continue. You click on the Learn Smart. Once you've clicked on that Learn Smart, it'll say confirmation to launch McGraw-Hill. It takes you right into the Connect Access website where you'll be able to register your access code. If you purchase an access code at the bookstore, this is where you'd be able to register it. If you have an access code from somewhere else, this is where you'd register it. If you need to purchase one, they're available for $60 directly through McGraw-Hill inside this course. This is the cheapest method to purchase it. I believe at the bookstore it is $75 or $80. So once you click here to be able to register, a couple of things will happen. I mentioned that you were able to connect, or literally connect, through using your code that you had from the bookstore or be able to use a code that you wanted to purchase here. You have a third option, which is be able to get your free trial. And so if you would like to sign up for a free two-week trial, I highly suggest you do. Get as much work as you can get done during that two-week time. And then after that time, make sure that you purchase your code at that time. If you have difficulty after your two-week free trial and you need a, um, some financial assistance or an extension, please contact me personally through email. So at this point, it'll ask you for a registration code. If you have your registration code from the bookstore, you'll enter it there. If you, have, if you don't have a registration code, you'll click Buy Access Online, Buy Online. And then lastly, you'll click Try Before Buying, Start Courtesy Access. And when you start Courtesy Access, that will give you a free access to the course. You'll be able to identify that, yes, this is what you'll need, tells you when it expires, and then you'll click Continue. Now you can see my Courtesy Access has been activated, and I can access my online course. So from here, I would click Go to Connect. Once I'm inside Connect, you can see all of the different things that are available for you. So what I'd like to do is be able to return to Blackboard, and now I'll show you what it's like to click into your assignment once you've been registered. One more important thing that you'll need to know is you can only use one email address at a time. You cannot use one email address, and then after your two-week trial, try a different one to get more free weeks trial. They just don't both connect, and you won't be able to get your work transferred over from one to the other. The second thing that's most important is you have to create what's called a single user sign-on, so that way it knows your connect is con associated with this Blackboard course. And in order to do that, you have to go through Blackboard into Learn Smarter, whichever the assignment is, this is the Taking Charge of Your Health, Chapter 1, Learn Smart. Click Start Assignment, and then once you're finished with the Learn Smart assignment here, you have to make sure you always click Back to Blackboard. That is how your grades will sync. If you're frustrated and you go into Blackboard a few times and you say to yourself that your grades just aren't syncing, one of the ways to be able to make cer certain everything syncs is to click Back to Blackboard. And once you've done that, you'll be able to know that it's syncing your grades properly. So now we are in the module. You can see inside this Chapter 1 Connect. This is actually the Chapter 1 of the wellness. And you can click through the chapter. You can read all of the information that you want to be able to read. And then they put this little tricky bar down here. It says Practice. When you click Practice, it starts to show you all of the questions you need to complete in order to do this Connect assignment. When you do the Learn Smart, there are 66 items, and you have a capacity to reach 100% on every Learn Smart and get all 66 items correct. So say, for example, you click on an answer. You say, I absolutely knew this answer. It says, nope, you didn't. You were absolutely wrong. Then you go, OK. 
Next thing you could do is you could click read about this and it'll show you the context and the text that we've advised it to go to to be able to show you exactly what we wanted you to see. So the next time you get that question, you will get it right. If you'd like to challenge the question, you can click challenge there. So then you click to your next one, you say, I absolutely knew it. It says, no, you didn't, you were wrong. Click read about this, and then you can continue on. Once you start getting them right, they will accrue through all 66. This will take you somewhere in the range of 40 minutes to an hour, depending on the level of difficulty and depending on how you've done in preparation for this. It's the best way to do it is to look through the chapter in the e-text. You can even highlight some information, pay attention to things in groups, look at the vocabulary words to be able to prepare yourself for this mastering of text. If you try to go through this connect learn smart dry by that I mean you haven't opened the textbook it can be very difficult and more frustrating so definitely scroll through the textbook first to make sure that you've done that so the next thing you'll do now is you always can go back to read so if you click read it'll show you back to the chapter and to the to the book you have access over here when you click that it says table of contents reports settings and then at the bottom importantly it says leave smart book once you click Leave Smart Book and you go back to Blackboard, it will now sync your grades. So you always have to click either Leave Smart Book or Back to Blackboard. One of the most important things that we talk about as well in looking at making sure that you do this in the right way is that really is a place for you to excel because you can achieve 100% on every one of those Connect learning modules. And I hope that you take the time to go through those and do that because it is worth a significant part of your grade. And remember, when you're inside Learn Smart, you have to click on the word practice and able to do the questions which accrue for the 100 points. And then you can always click back and look at and go through the text anytime you might need to. You'll need to buy the code in advance, purchase it through here, the course, and remember the two week free trial above all to at least get started. And if you're having any difficulty, contact me and reach out immediately. Thank you and good luck.